Ndawani Tokuzani Namaste. Hello and welcome to Intimate Sessions with Koko Mahlebizulu. I hope you're well this day. <laughs> Today I would like to share with you four tips on how you can improve your life for the better. Now the tips I'm about to share with you come from a personal experience. I am living this. This is my everyday life. This is what I do on a daily basis. And I've seen the growth I had personally um, spiritually, mentally, physically, and as well as financially. I've seen the goodness of how these four tips can improve your life. If it could improve my life, I'm definitely sure it can make a change in your life. So, yoga. This is the first one. A quick backstory. I used to suffer from stiff muscles. You know when you wake up in the morning and you're not feeling good. You're awake, but you're not feeling good. You needed that extra kick, something to get you out of whatever it is that you're feeling. And a friend of mine who's also a spiritual colleague introduced me to this yoga idea. And he said to me, you know, I have classes every day that I teach. And I think I will send you a recording. And I think, actually, I know that these recordings will bring a change into your life. And he sent me recordings. The first thing I did in the morning, so I woke up an extra hour earlier so I could do this yoga thing. And trust me, I have grown. Apart from being flexible, <laughs> I've seen how my, my, my awareness became more cultivated. I've seen how composed my mind has become. So I have became more composed. I've seen how my inner peace would radiate even more when arguments would arise. I, I've seen a difference, you know, and I normally meditate every day. So my connection became even more deeper. So there are certain poses that you do in yoga. You would stay in there for maybe a minute or 30 seconds. And within that, you shift into this mental focus and you can either manifest or you can even um, download some spiritual information and then they come back as dreams or real life event happenings so yoga has the potential to change your life for the better for the good don't take that lying down and the second one is meditation so meditation has many benefits and there are many types of meditations. So what I normally do when you come for spiritual coaching, one of the core elements of your coaching is meditation. So a lot of people will be like, why am I doing too much of this meditation? Why am I doing this? But as they push themselves into the actual work, they see the benefits of meditation. Not only does it relieve stress, it, it is also a coping mechanism for people who are suffering from depression. And it's also good for mental health issues. And on the positive side as well, for those who are into studying or those who need some form of uh, a way to quiet down your mind, it, ha it also helps you with that. And it can improve focus and concentration. And it also helps you connect to the spiritual world so you get to go and tap into certain dimensions while you're meditating but it's not something that can happen today it is a constant practice it's something that you need to practice and exercise every day and then the third one is fasting yo a lot of people are now jumping on this bandwagon of intermediate fasting and some people go into a day fasting, three days, seven days, I mean, 14 days, sorry, as well as 21 days, right? Every fasting has its own uses. Every fasting has its own meaning spiritually. So whatever it is that you're fasting for, the days are there. So you can't be fasting for um, a relationship for one day. You can't be fasting for manifestation uh, for one day. So there are certain days. Three days it's for this, seven days it's for that, 14 days it's for this, and 21 days is for that. So if you'd like to know that, you can book a consultation with me and then we can take it further. So what are the benefits of fasting? Not only 
does it cleanse the soul it also helps you connect to the spirit and it also has health benefits and the most powerful potency of fasting is it intensifies anything that you are manifesting or anything that you're eyeing on have you seen people who swear by the word of i'm going to get that thing i'm going to get that thing and they're going to fasting while they're going to fasting they either go into prayer with scriptures but others go into prayer with mantra sorry they go into fasting <laughs> with the mantra and with manifestation um, purposes so there are many 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 positive um, aspects of fasting and another negative aspect of fasting is a person can block your ways through fasting so i'm not going to get into that i'm more of the good girl i like focusing and i love focusing on the good part of things and now the fourth one i have a bonus for you bonus is number five the fourth one we are talking about the diet so good people the food that we eat plays a critical role in our spiritual practice the food that we eat has the potential to open ways to what we want to achieve and remember we believe in manifestation and for us to manifest we need to be in a certain frequency so our body needs to be of less oils and on less fats you know this chest area sometimes you feel like it's blocked you don't feel well indigestion that can be sorted out by diet and fasting so dieting not only does it nurture the body and the soul it draws you closer to the spirit and now i quickly want to go a step back into fasting there are many ways on how we can fast. There are dry fasts, water fasts, um, fruit fasts, or vegetable fasts. So there are different types of fasting. And if you're an individual who would love to go into fasting, there are ways on how we start you. So the diet that you consume or that you incorporate in your everyday life, remember it is a slow transition. You can't wake up in the morning and boom, you are good to go. It is a slow transition. Um, it helps you draw you closer to the spirit and it raises your vibration. And also you become full of energy and you become even more focused. So that is the importance of having a clean and good diet. And the bonus number five, I would like you to have a journal. So a journal, not only does it serve as a dream journal, it can also stand in as a progress book, right? It can be your life path book. This is where you record all your dreams, all your happenings. Now this book or this journal, <laughs> this journal, it will be a book of your life. And what I love about having this journal is you don't have to start back. You start now. We use what we have now. We start by now and it doesn't have to be a fancy book. I have a video out. Um, it's called The Life Book. You can check the link on the description box below if you're interested in finding out more about journaling and having a life book. So your journal will be um, a detailed um, description of your dreams, a detailed descriptions of your experiences every day, whether good, whether bad. If you have that feeling of something is going to happen go back and write in your journal as time goes on you will sit down maybe after three months six months or even a year to go through that book everything is patterned you will see everything in your journal good people if you'd like to book a consultation with me my details are in the description box below otherwise have a wonderful day and see you again next week